Why did you just come to my house? What the f Get off my line. For real. Why did you... If you didn't... What the f That's all you had to say about that? Somebody is saying that you just came to their house. And in your mind, you know you didn't go to their house. And all you're going to say is, what the f What up, QC crew? King Day is in the motherfucking building. You and it up for so That bridge going on no episode Run that shit when you had all the show Say that shit for your camera what to do, what to do, it is your homie King Day here in King's Corner and I am back with another reaction video for you. So today we are reacting to Lee Lee, yours truly. She dropped a, a weekly vlog. We haven't heard from her, from her in a slight second. So we're going to get straight into this video. I hope she, you know, drops some shit in this motherfucking video and say don't watch this rent session. So Hopefully, we get some answers to the questions we've all been asking. I ain't gonna hold you. I never do. If you fuck with me like I fuck with you, you know what to do. Like, comment, subscribe, share, 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 share. And we're gonna get straight into this video. Let's get it. Let's go. Oh, shit. What is that on that? What is that on that? All right, there you go. I said, it was meant for me to have Let me rewind that thing. Just recently, too, I thought about that, thinking about you. I said it was meant for me to have her. Mm -hmm. you know, especially in my life. Especially in my life. Yes. Oh. I thank Jesus for you. For giving me to you. For giving you to me. Because it could have been different. But one thing, Lord Jesus. I thank God for you too, Mama. Let me get this part. Yes. Now let me get the part. I was getting it in there. I'm calling, and we've been on the phone almost so, 30 minutes. Well, I'm mean, going to take but 15 for my type of her. <laughs> yes, so get it out. I will. Thank you, baby, for giving me a, a good day. Thank you. I, I know I can be your answer sometime, but I know if you got it, I ain't got to do nothing but ask. I'm a small baby of yours. <laughs> okay, I love you. I love you too, baby. Stay safe. Everything locked up? Yes. You know, I'm telling you this one more time. Mama, I can't get my time on time, man. Get it. Come on, hold up. Come on, now. I contemplate by how I feel. I ain't seen you. But you make it way too hard to think. That is the people. I know this was a crazy way to start the vlog, but hey, you guys, welcome to another vlog. We are inside of my closet, child, and I am moving stuff be crazy, out so that I can get this shit together because how I got all this nice stuff and it's just thrown around like this. So I am about to get all of this Lily. to go. Oh. Lily, you got shit in the tub. Lily. Lily got shit in the tub. Y I look crazy, so I can't show y'all <laughs> what I'm working with as far as body wise. But look at my little mamas. Oh, it's so silly. I didn't even touch it. <laughs> she said, Bitch, don't Bitch, touch don't me. Bitch, don't touch me. I can't. Period. I just want to lay in your you bed, bed, rent free, mm. and you cannot touch me. My cat did the I same so shit. Cute. Them cats. Cute. They all got right, some other right. nerve. I'm finna go pour me some wine. Hmm. Let me shake y'all. So, I've been cleaning up. I'm What's a cleaning day without wine? What the fuck is a cleaning day without the motherfucking wine? Well, I don't drink wine, but I gotta have me some type of some. Doing some. laundry. And I got this kitchen together. I got some wigs out for me to wash. And do and look here's Robbie. Hello, handsome baby. Him the handsome man. Him so handsome. I just love him. But I'm bringing all this crap uh -oh, in here in the living room because this is where I'm gonna sort all this stuff starting tonight and tomorrow. I got the living room clean. So why are these subtitles on? Now I gotta get all this stuff organized. So I'm about to light me a candle, I can understand honey. Her perfectly. And 
say hello to the bunny <laughs> i'm about to light me a candle and i am about to pour me a glass of wine because it's been a long time i finally found my wine that i was looking for you guys y'all told me it was at walmart i went and got me some bella bole bella bole and I'm about to give me a wine glass out. Do I want a stimulus wine glass or do I ain't found me no wine that I like or can even tolerate like ever. Like it has to be sweet. That's why I just prefer to just have me a drink drink because I can't get with the wine. Now I'm doing work today. But I'm gonna find so I'm gonna use my wine glass from my sister-in-law. Y'all, her Instagram will be down in the description box. Shout out to everybody that has been ordering her wine glasses i know y'all love y'all so wait a damn minute i'ma be the meme today wait a goddamn minute okay y'all correct me if i'm wrong now when lily pulled that glass out the cabinet she said her sister-in-law gave her this glass now we know lily and grams is broken up you know, whatever. But automatically, I figured this glass came from someone from her past. And so she just said, you know, my sister-in-law. She didn't say ex-sister-in-law or past sister-in-law. She means she didn't say any of that. So that means current. Does this mean that Lily and BB are a thing thing? Because I might have been expecting more of like my boo sister instead of sister-in-law. Y'all just let me know what y'all think in the comments. Cause I'm here for it. I'm here for it. Just as much as I love mine because I absolutely love mine. Um, you know, I wash it. I wash it with just soap and water. I don't put it in a dishwasher. Yeah, like but I'm going to pour me some wine and I'm going to get to this wash them closet. I was on the phone with my mama. Honey, we was talking about how at the start of this year, I cannot, I can count on one hand how many people have not came into this year with me. Like, it's been that many people that are just like, it's only 22 days into the year and people just been like, blue, 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 blue. And then I had so many people from my past reaching out to me like i know it's the mercury retrograde but like even when the new year came i had an old friend of mine reach out and she wanted to talk and apologize and all this stuff and i'm just like baby you've been gone like the past is the past like i can't do nothing about that so i'm just chilling i've been really chilling and being in my own little energy you guys getting myself together and just enjoying my space like i honestly been enjoying my space so i'm gonna pour me some wine finish my closet and then i'll check in with y'all in a little while especially after i get on the wig i've been looking like this all weekend and this is okay because the skin is there the face is giving face like it's always but y'all know it's something about when you got at least a wig on mm -hmm. and some lashes on you just feel a little bit good there. my mama used to always say you know when you feel good you do good yeah. and she used to be like you acting like you look when i look like this i'm you know what i'm saying so anyways i'm gonna get it together but anyways let me pour my wine <laughs> you a symphony just to say how much you mean to me what would you do if i told you you were beautiful would you date me yes lee want to horton Why did you just come to my house? 
What the? F get off my line. For real. Why did you... If you didn't... Hold on. Product research is... We're going to rewind that too after this ad because... What uh, Flavor Flav said, where the fuck did your accent go? <laughs> that was fucking Grams. Where the fuck did your accent go? Yo, at this point, I'm gonna call the police because y'all playing on my motherfucking phone. Why did you just come to my house? What the f Get off my line. For real. Why did you, if you didn't. What the f That's all you had to say about that. Somebody is saying that you just came to their house. And in your mind, you know you didn't go to their house. And all you're going to say is what the f And hang up. You had nothing more to say. Y'all been having these cool conversations. Y'all been trying to, you know, figure shit out. And that's all you had to say was, what the f and hang up? And someone's lying on you saying that you just came to their house? All right. I wish a bitch would tell me I got their house and I wasn't nowhere near it. Oh, great rising, great rising, great rising. So I don't really know where this vlog um started or if i'm just starting to hear because it's honestly been a lot going on over the past couple of days you guys i okay um i um <sighs> let me get out of my driveway i'm on my way to my eye doctor appointment finally um tay ended up bending my glasses back i didn't even tell y'all she bent my glasses back but then they end up being too wide but the overall prescription is not good anymore anyway so i'm going to get some new glasses today and uh, finally finally about to go get these damn glasses but it's been a lot going on i literally been in the bed for the past three days um I've been working, but I just had to recruit. And I just want to tell you guys that I appreciate all of y'all loving, sweet messages. Like, y'all prayers, y'all concerns. For everybody that has just been rocking with me. Like, y'all don't understand. I love y'all so much. And I appreciate y'all so much. But let me get on my driveway and then I'll... Okay, guys. So, um, my the kids are at home today. They are actually um doing the remote school because oh, sorry i got this waist trying to um they close the schools because of so many um of those cases now y'all know i don't typically you know react to a full vlog of lily's but i did get a couple requests on instagram and y'all want to see me react to the full vlog so we gonna see we gonna see how it go you know i typically get to the t react and i get up out of here so we gonna see if y'all see a full video here of the whole vlog then here you go i gifted that to you on today but if this motherfucker a little bit choppy just know your wish is not coming true <laughs> right now eventually but, but but not right now let's get back into it so many people have just been sick, so they closed the schools. And thank God that my children have um, just not been. I don't know what that fucking way wants to catch was. that That's particular virus. Crazy. But Bryce, y'all know every other week Everybody Bryce has something sick. going on. Um, but he has else. scarlet fever. <laughs> I never even heard of scarlet fever but he had like all these little fine bumps all over his face his body his arms and it was like i thought it was just like extremely dry skin at first so i was treating it like it was eczema or something he don't really have eczema mariah does but um i was treating it like it was eczema and then it just started getting so dry y'all it was like it was trying to give my baby like a fever blister on his damn lips y'all know his lips be so when he went to his granny by the time he went to his granny house last week on thursday um it was going down but then i don't know it just came back flame back up and she sent me pictures on sunday she sent me pictures on sunday 
and was like, what do you think I should do? And I was like, I think he should go to the doctor because I don't, we don't know if it's something that's going on, on the inside. Like we've been treating it ourselves, just trying to say that, you know, it's just an allergic reaction or something. But just to be safe, we don't know if this same stuff that's on the outside of his face is on the inside of his body. And I don't want my baby to like, not be able to breathe or just, even him just itching. Like I, I, want, I don't want him, I want him to feel better. So she took him to the emergency room for me on Sunday. Um, because y'all know a lot of stuff happened on Saturday night. So I'm gonna get into that. So when he got there, they basically just gave him an antibiotic and you know, they said it'll go away. And I guess he got it from school, being around other kids at school or whatever. And it's just like, <laughs> like Bryce's school is like a damn daycare at this point. Like they just be passing shit around and just go from little kid to little kid. Like Mariah, she, she, it's crazy too because Bryce was the bre breastfed the longest but he was also a preemie so he was a preemie so I don't know if that makes a difference or what but Mariah um, has a really really good immune system over my baby Bryce so all that that was Sunday when Bryce had to go to the emergency room so go on to Saturday Saturday um, I was at home I was cleaning up, I was doing laundry. Um, I was just in my own zone, drinking my wine. I was alone that whole week, pretty much. I was at home by myself, besides when the kids, when the kids left on Thursday, I was alone Thursday, Friday, and then it was Saturday. Saturday night, um, I ended up talking to B, and she asked could she come over, and she wanted to bring me something to eat. So I was like, yeah, you can come over. So, um, she didn't get there to like, See nine something she got there at like nine something so when she got there i was like well i'll just finish this on um tomorrow because i'm cleaning my closet and stuff i told y'all so we go into my room and y'all when i'm home alone um i i lock my bedroom door even when somebody there with me i still shut my bedroom door and i lock my bedroom door if we finna go to sleep or whatever so it's just been a habit of mine it's just been something that I, I actually started doing when I was with one of when I was with Bryce's daddy. If you want to be totally honest, I just I guess um, I attract crazies. But anyways, so <laughs> um, it's like eleven o'clock now. It's like eleven something at night, and B is sleeping. She sleep. I was watching Ozark, but I was also scrolling TikTok. So I was just laying in the bed. And I heard some noise outside, but we have a trail on my backyard. My neighbors, they got ATVs and everything. And there's cameras everywhere. Like, they got shit everywhere, right? And my, me and my neighbors, we, we cool. So, um, I heard, like, something outside my front door. So I'm like, Hmm, that's probably the I can just hear I can hear so I'm like okay that's probably the neighbors and shit like this or whatever not paying it no mind said they watch TV I mean you in a motherfucking bed and you watching TV you're not expecting nobody to be fumbling with your motherfucking door you you know you kid free you chilling your boo over there asleep you you like what's that noise she you I hear shit all the time and I don't pay no attention I probably should pay it more attention but I ain't got no bitch finna walk up in my shit but who the fuck is expecting something to be going down at their motherfucking door and expecting something that's needing your attention? Like something like, let me go check out what that is or let me wake my boo up to see what the fuck going on at the front door. Talk, laugh, and next thing you know, I hear my doorbell going, like, like somebody's oh. playing at the door. Like, and the only person who rings my doorbell like that is my dad. And then he'll start yelling outside the door. He'll be like, poo poo, poo poo, like that. And so I was like, I know this ain't my daddy and no almost midnight. Like this gotta be an emergency. You know what I'm saying? But he didn't call my phone. My daddy would call my phone. So I'm still just on guard. I'm just sitting up on my bed now because I'm like, this can't be my daddy. My daddy would call my phone what is going on so my automatic first thought 
honestly i'm just like i just know this is not i know it's not my intuition be on point because even earlier that day i was sitting there and i was like it was just i just i could feel it it's just like i could feel oh, this person i could just feel it i didn't know what was gonna go on but i could just feel it so i'm sitting up on the bed and it's like da -da -da. Next thing you know, I hear the door opening. So at this point, y'all, my anxiety <laughs> shot through the roof. I hear my door opening and somebody running through my door. So I'm in my room. At this point, I'm like, I'm finna kill somebody. Like, what the hell? Like, I, the I, and I went in shock. I didn't even wake B. Why would she ring the fucking doorbell before she went in like did she think that this was just gonna be like oh a joke you know i ran the doorbell it was a prank you know everything is all good like what did she think she was going to get out of this like i didn't even say it's crazy nothing like i automatically jump up because i'm trying to make sure that my bedroom door is locked right. and do what i need to do so that i can you know what I'm saying? Like, I can't, y'all. So, I hear somebody saying, wake up, wake up, wake up. All this. So, I'm like, such, 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 such. Like, because I hear this voice. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm like, what the fuck are you doing in my house? Like, y'all, it was so scary. It was so creepy. I just don't even... I don't even know like I don't even know if I can explain that feeling I, um, I don't have my house like broken to before like not this house but my apartment and I literally could not sleep in that house no more because it just feels like somebody invaded your privacy right. and that's how I feel now it's and whether it was like a break-in whether she used the key whether she came through the window it's just like that's this lady's personal space you lived there once before yeah true enough but you don't live there now. You can't just walk in there. Even if even if she wasn't with B, even if she wasn't talking to nobody, whatever, like, do you know how, how scary that still can be for you in your bed late at night doing what you typically do? And somebody, imagine her not ringing the doorbell. Imagine Lily being alone and she opened up that damn door and walked to that room talking about some wake up. That's scary as fuck. Whether, whether she's threatened by Grams or not, whether she feel like she can beat Grams' ass or not, that shit is scary as fuck. That's your personal space. It's just like it's somebody crazy. invades your personal space, then like you, you come in, you're not welcome. You're not welcome here. And so I'm like, but B by this point, she hears me hollering, so she hops up out of her sleep. She's like, what the fuck going on? This, this, and this. And then I was like, sisters in my house and this, this, and this. So she trying to get out the door to get to this person. And this person is grabbing on the door like they trying to get in, but they really not. They and I'm just like, oh ready. no, this can be dangerous. So I'm just like pushing um, B back because I don't know what the fuck this person got on the other side. I don't know. I just got in shock. Usually in a situation like this, y'all know I would be like, oh, I'm gonna smile it up. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do that. I really could not believe this was happening to me. Like, I'm like, if this person is coming to my house, then what are you on? You know what I'm saying? Like, you on some, some other shit. Like, like, I don't know. And so, after that, I heard where, um, she just took off running and she opened up my garage door, unlocked the garage door, opened, pressed the garage button, ran out the garage. By then, I let B go. B chasing, see her getting in the back seat. She got in the back seat and it was somebody else driving. And it was like um, two other people in the car and they skirt off. B chased the car and um, they come back. Then, get her keys and she go chase after them like that so by then i'm in the house y'all because i was laying there watching tiktok like y'all is this is so crazy because i was laying there watching fucking tiktok my phone wasn't on the charger when i went to record when she was first at the door my phone cut off 
the phone cut off. Like, I cannot, I can't make this up. The phone cut off. So I'm sitting there. Really, one of them motherfuckers, she ain't gonna charge her motherfucking phone until it's dead. I do not understand a motherfucker who at home all day. I'm not saying she was at home all day, but I'm saying a motherfucker at home all day. How your phone dying you at home? Put that motherfucking phone on the charger when it gets about 52%. And that's just for everybody. Put your motherfucking phone on. The, what percentage your phone on right now? Put that motherfucker on the charger. That's all I gotta say. There is shock, not knowing what to do. Like, you know, I gotta call the police. I'm just contemplating, like, why would this person really do this? Like, I had to call my mom. I called my mom first, of course. I called my mom, and then I handled my business or whatever. And. It's just like, I had to get in my head over this weekend, like, okay. Oh, y'all was asking, like, why didn't I change my locks? Because this person and this person was saying they got a key. That's what everybody was I guess, like, you know, I done been with this person for so long. I knew that you would talk shit. You know what I'm saying? But I guess I'm still thinking that you, this old person, but you really a person that I don't know. I don't know this person. That's the same exact thing I said in my last video. Like, people are saying, like, she asked for this. She wanted this to happen. And I don't think she wanted it to happen. I don't think she asked for it. But when you've been with a motherfucker so long, I guess you still have that expectation and that still trust in that person that they going that they gonna do right. Like I said, put the key up. Put it in a motherfucking safe. Put it in. It don't gotta be on your key ring. It don't need to be on your key ring. Put the key back in her hand, whatever. Get rid of it. The fuck? Get rid of the key. That's that's what we're going to expect somebody that you've been with for all these years. Now, if Grams was just beating Lily ass and Lily had to run away from Grams and all this in the past and she was motherfucking safe homes and shit like that and then decided to get back with Grams and then they broke up again, then yeah, I would think that you would want to change the locks. This person was beating your ass for all these years. You kept giving them chances, but I mean, why not change the locks? Like, you know, you have to run away from this person. But I don't think that Lily is threatened by Grams. And that's probably one of the reasons why she didn't get the locks changed. She's not threatened by her. She's not scared of her. And I believe that she thinks that Grams has her best interest in, in her and in the kids. And Grams wouldn't do anything to harm them or make them feel uncomfortable. But what she's done now, that's all out the door. That's all out the door. It's, it's no telling what you would do next. And Grams might not ever physically do anything to Lily or her kids or try to physically harm them. But we don't know what's going on in your head. Your actions are not showing us that you're the same person. You're obviously morphing into somebody else. So Lily, get the locks changed. Get some cameras because... I don't know what else was in the spaghetti that she might have eaten that Avery made for her, but it's it's got her moving a little different in these streets. I don't know this person who y'all seeing on the internet. I don't know this person who acting like this. I don't know this person. I don't like, I do not know this version of this person. And I have to take it from like that at the, from this point on. You know what I'm saying? Instead of thinking like caringly, like oh i know this person this person want to do that so that's my fault on my behalf because i really was just like you, you know like motherfucker, you left you left <laughs> you moved on you in a relationship like i'm like what the fuck like honestly truly like i'm just like no motherfuckers not stunting me like that you know what i'm saying like i know you doing things that showing me you stunting me but I'm it ain't like to the this. point where you like would do some shit like that because I really didn't think you would want to risk where the fuck you at because I know my per I know my ex person I know how she move we but the thing is I don't know because I ain't never been like how I'm being now the strength that I'm showing now me moving on me not doing all this shit and chasing me um choosing me I ain't ever did this before. So then I'm like, damn, like you, I really have to look at it from this perspective now. Like I really done switched up.
You know what I'm saying? This motherfucker it. used to me being available. She used to it. me being there. Used to me always answering the phone. Used to me caring. And that's what I said on a previous video too. Like Grams is is kind of like trying to keep both doors open. If one closed, she got another one to run into. And I feel like Lily was probably always her comfort zone. Lily probably know her like no other. I'm pretty sure Avery doesn't know a fraction of grams compared to what Lily's knows. Obviously, they've been together all these years, so you can't help but to know, you know, a person. Um, so she can open up to Lily. She can talk to Lily, and she probably did want to build a best friendship back with Lily because then she can keep tabs. You know, me and Lily just cool. We co-parent. I'm cool with the kids. We cool. We don't be flirting. We don't be this. We don't be that. But but. But she keeping tab. Oh, you know what? Today, I'm going to try to see if she could tell me a little bit about B. I'm going to try to see if she could this and this and that. And then just say one day, Lily on that bitch like, oh, I'm not ready for B. B is X, Y, and Z. Oh, let me put that down in the note section. I got shit to use against you. I know how to manipulate your story. I know how to manipulate your mind based off what you said she doing. And, and, and where you want to be in life, I can kind of wiggle my way in there. And when I'm tired of Avery, I can come sleep on your couch because we best buddies. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. You're not going to control this girl life. And I literally train myself to turn that shit off. Like, no, I can't care. I can't. And that goes for, I don't know who out there is in a situation like mine or, you know, you're going through stuff like mine. But learn from this mistake right here that you see that I done made. Like, if a person done left you, then that motherfucker is a whole different motherfucker than who you had originally fell in love with. Because the person who fell in love with you and who you fell in love with wouldn't be doing you like that in the first place. Wouldn't be doing you dirty. You know what I'm saying? So, therefore, the relationship is therefore avoided. <laughs> that shit is over and you need to treat this motherfucker for how for who they showing you that they are at that fucking moment not trying to hold on to how they used to be how they was how you know they can be how all that bullshit you know what i'm saying and i feel like as women that's what we be going through and i know it's some men who go through that too because i can't men get their heart broken as well and they be holding on to some trifling ass women as well as you can see i'm a whole lesbian and there is motherfucking trifling ass women out here in this fucking world so at the end of the day you have to protect yourself yep. and your kids you know what i'm saying like luckily like i knew this person she wouldn't have did this if my kids was home okay. this person knew that i was gonna be home by myself and was honestly i think expecting me to be home by myself so that they could talk to me i'm thinking because i mean that ain't what i'm thinking that's what i know that's what I know because that's how shit would have went in the motherfucking past. And so I wonder if Lily thinks that if B wasn't there, Grams would just ring the doorbell and wait for somebody to answer and say, you know what? I want to let's just have a conversation. I want to talk. Or would she still enter the home into your bedroom? Because that's still creepy as shit. Like, yeah, I know who you are. I've been with you all these years, X, Y, and Z. But why are you in my bedroom? Right. <laughs> <laughs> but this ain't the past this is not the past just like that's a new person i'm a whole new person i have grown up i'm grown you know what i'm saying like just because i used to like something back then don't mean i like that shit today i don't like that i don't like that i don't fuck with that i can't fuck with you i can't do that like that's just no so like you are violating you're violating me you violating the person I'm talking to. You violating my children's home. Like, it's a whole violation. And I just, I can't fuck with it. So, I don't know. Like, <laughs> I don't know. But then for everybody, too, who's like, oh, Lily, Lily need to move. Lily need to do this. First of all, y'all know I've been taking y'all through the process, right? And... Look, this is my daddy right here. He probably don't fucking hurt. I'm gonna call him in a second. I've been taking y'all through the process. I did not know where I wanted to move to. My kids are still in school. Moving so just because y'all saying, oh, you got the it. funds to move and this, this. First of all, 
Y'all just add like, I don't know. But you know what, I'm not even gonna go there. Um, when I move from my home, I plan to be buying a home. I plan to be purchasing a home. And I went through a lot of different changes last year. I went through a lot of different things. Uh, I lost a lot um, in the midst of, which I, I'm gonna explain all of this, y'all. I'm definitely coming out with something where I'm gonna be able to explain all of this. And definitely, if you get your tickets to Pain the Champagne, you will be able to hear more. The shit that I don't be saying on the internet, you'll be able to um, really get the ins and outs of my situation because a lot of the time when you got the internet, the internet, it only tells you so much. And motherfuckers be able to speculate and put pieces together and it ain't the right pieces and they make up stories. And like the internet is really, whew, I really have a love-hate relationship for it. But this is the path clearly God has chosen for me, for me to, you know, share my story and have this platform so that I can do his work. Because if it wasn't for God pushing me to do this, I wouldn't just choose to be an influencer online trying to show my life. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not even a person that, that likes attention. And then that's the, the another thing that I've been having to go through with losing friends and family going away and all kind of other shit. Like, my friends was like, you need to really accept the fact that you are that girl you are that girl you are a social media influencer you do have a platform like i've been out here thinking i'm just this regular smegular person which you know what i'm saying like i'm just i don't know i don't know like i treat people the way i want to be treated you know what i'm saying so I don't know, but I have to realize that my life has definitely elevated. I've definitely came a long way and I'm super proud of myself. I'm super proud of my growth because I know firsthand, like so many people was texting me and it was like, I'm so proud of you. They know firsthand I probably would have been in jail. You know what I'm saying? Like I handle things so much differently. I'm doing things so much differently. I can't help but to pat myself on the back for that because it's like, dang, this takes strength. Like, I don't think you guys understand how hard it is. And yeah, I'm emotional. I cry and shit like that. But it's just like, a lot of times I cry to keep from blowing shit up. I cry to really get control of myself. And then I went through this whole thing. Like, even when I was telling Tay, I'm like, this is why I be cutting people off. This is why I stay to myself. I don't like other people being affected by my shit. And then, you know, with having a brand and you attaching yourself to somebody else, what I do affects somebody else. Like, all of that shit is stressful. And then the fact that I can't control things is even more stressful. And, you know, that goes to the shit that I go through because that's why even in my relationships, I always try to have control over shit because I want to, I just right. got to pinpoint things. And with this situation, this is totally like, I ain't never did this before. It's, it's, out, of, it's out of my control. But I do control some things. But, honey, we're going to talk about that at Pain the Champagne. Make sure y'all click the link in the description box to get your tickets. Get your tickets. Get your tickets. Get your tickets. <laughs> oh my gosh. Like, y'all really want to be in this room. You want to get this knowledge. And it's not necessarily all about breakups because, like I said, we are going to be teaching you how to get it out the mud. I'll teach you about branding, teach you about social media, teach you about growing on social media, making money off social media, all of that good stuff. But this is a lot it's a lie and it's like damn <laughs> you honestly and truly have to be careful what the fuck you ask for you know what i'm saying like all them years ago when i act when i used to just say like my life gonna mean something or this this and this like you get what you ask for yeah, you, gotta watch you make sure you got good intentions behind it and i promise you god is gonna protect you every step of the way but if you want something out of ill intentions you want something out of greed you want something out of um, 
just being materialistic or something like that, then that's another thing you just gotta worry about. You know what I'm saying? But she God definitely has been protecting me, she, and God definitely talking. has been watching over me. I'm up now. <laughs> I'm up and I'm moving forward and I'm not letting this get me how it used to get me. I would get all depressed and not want to do nothing and like, oh my God, I can't believe this shit. Like I literally, it's like I just kept saying, is this my life? Like what the hell? And then y'all was sending me messages like, you know, don't let this stop you. And and then I ain't even finna lie. Like I'm the type of person where I'm sitting here like I'm listening to people on the internet. Like then it made me feel corny. It's just like, oh my gosh, like. So anyways, we still on a journey to finding a house. If I have to speed the process up, then I guess that I would be renting a house, but I, I you know the process with purchasing a home is a lengthy one. You gotta make sure all your ducks in a row and shit, especially when you're trying to purchase this type of home. I'm trying to purchase, so, um, yeah just pray for me <laughs> and i appreciate everyone who has been praying for me and sending me love and you know just being there and and doing everything thank y'all for supporting me i got new things dropping and i appreciate y'all supporting me because y'all supporting me helps me put um food on the table for my children y'all supporting me has helped me change my entire life you know what i'm saying and i just really thank god for y'all and i think i have a lot of loyal supporters i have people who pray for me like i know i be seeing people they be having followers and fans and shit like that but like my people Man, i don't know y'all go hard almost like the damn beehive it's crazy or like the lehigh nikki fans or cardi fans like y'all go crazy you know what i'm saying like i'm just i'm just grateful i'm really grateful but i don't talk to y'all for like 20 damn minutes i know y'all like bitch is you gonna talk the whole vlog i had to get all that out i wasn't gonna speak on it at first but it wouldn't be me if i didn't speak on it just know that my business is being handled y'all me and my kids are safe um my house is protected i just didn't change them locks because i didn't oh and then with the key i did get my key back i got my key back i got my garage key back so what happened was i forgot that such and such sister had a key to my house at first i was like this person went and got a copy had to get, get a copy of my key made no her sister because like my mom got a key to my house and my sister got a key to my house so when i'm gone out of town um people can get in my house and check on my cats and stuff like that and like feed my cats and do the stuff i need done around my house like i got housekeepers basically so my house is always protected but i just didn't think that this person would so she done went and got the motherfucking key from her sister. <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> so when the case is created, the sister is associated with this also. See, people don't be thinking about the big picture when they do shit. They don't. All these people you're going to be affecting because you wanted to walk in this lady house. All these people. Now, if you would have came and rang the doorbell, did nobody answer, yelled out some, ran away, okay. But you were literally in this woman's home. And now you got these other people associated with your fucking breaking and entering. With your stupid decisions. I feel sorry for you. Um, I didn't think that motherfucker was brave enough or bold enough to do that, honestly. Or stupid enough. Like, you stupid. More so but, stupid. Bitch, are you dumb? Stupid enough. Like, are you dumb? Like, I don't know. But, 
Oh, honey. Whew. All I know is that de it's definitely been a traumatic damn experience. I wouldn't wish none of this shit on my worst enemy. I wouldn't want nobody to be thinking that this is something cute or something you need to be going through when it comes to a person. And then it's just like, dang. Let me turn. I'm about to pull up at my eye doctor downtown. I'm not gonna go in here and get these eyes done. The camera dying because I'm gonna talk to y'all the whole damn time. So I'll be back. If I wrote you a symphony, hey y'all, these are some Tom Ford frames. Y'all like this shade? Like this. We can still order it. This is more my shape now, y'all. But I'm gonna show you it in black. Let me see black. I guess I get to think about which one of these I want. And then I'll go try to find the I think the red one's the red one. I am back a little home. Bit I went. Oh shit. All right, we back home i went to target and i had to go to food city and now it's 159 and i am about to hop on the phone with my therapist it's my first therapy session today oh my god I have and my i'm first super therapy excited session today. um so i'll let you guys know how it go first time with a therapist but i said that i was gonna do it in this month and i'm investing in myself all month so, yeah, I'll let you know. I'll let you guys know how this. Look at who you excited. My first therapy session was great. Yeah. I think I got some bad news when I come back, though. I think I got some bad news, y'all. I got some bad news. I love this little thing. But yeah. All right, guys. So I'm gonna let the camera charge, but I just finished with my first therapy session, and the first one, I unpacked a lot, and I got homework. I meet with her again next week, and it's absolutely amazing. So she is a black woman, and I didn't even have a preference. It's crazy. She ended up being a black woman. She's dope as fuck and we get along well. So I was on the phone crying. I've been crying a lot. She's telling it like it is and I like it. So let's see how this goes. This is a new journey. I want a new journey. I don't know what it is about that first therapy session, but baby, when I tell you, I couldn't stop crying. I didn't stop crying until 10 minutes after the motherfucking therapy session. She was like, that first session be the truth. She didn't say it like that, but you know, I mean, we got to talking about my childhood. We got to talking about how I grew up. We was talking about my ex. We was talking about the ex before that, the ex before that. We was talking about my patterns, why I'm in this cycle that I'm in, how each... She, she read your ass. Shit. And she Talking about my current situation that I got going on. Like, it's a lot. But I'm about to cook some What's grilled news, barbecue sis? dogs. I want some grill. Oh, damn, I tripped up. I got the grill. I'm in here cleaning. Oh, Target had a sale on water. So I got, no, Food City had a sale on water. So I need cold water. So I got these. But I'm about to get out here on the grill. I'm gonna season up these hot dogs. I made my slaw already. Only black people season the motherfucking hot dogs. Let me know in the comments what other nationality is seasoning the hot dogs before they put them on a grill. Bitch, if that motherfucking hot dog ain't seasoned before you put it on a motherfucking grill with that motherfucking mustard, bitch, I don't want one. I don't want one. Got my paper to burn the grill. Then let this camera charge and then. I'll be back. And my hot dog gotta have a little okay. slit in it. You gotta kinda. So, welcome back to the vlog. Get a little slit it on the side. The next of day is Wednesday. Um, That's just for the when grill. I got dog. home from the eye doctor yesterday, I ended up. Didn't I show y'all? 
I don't think I came back to the vlog. I was grilling at home. I grilled up some hot dogs. I made some peeled, um, I peeled some fried, I peeled some potatoes and fried some potatoes. And then I just kind of um, sat on my bed doing some more work and research and writing shit down and um, all that kind of stuff. So that's what I was doing. But now, um, today I had to sew a wig. Shit. I'm burping. <laughs> it was some hair from Lovely Lust Collection that I had for like a couple years now. And I honestly bleached this hair like two years ago. So it's just been sitting in the house and I made it into a wig today. And I colored it and I'm going to be wearing that unit in my photo shoot tomorrow. But now I am outside of the nail salon. I'm outside of the nail salon. I was looking for my mask. And I'm finna go get my nails painted and get my toes done because my toes are chipped. And my um my nails kind of turn orange. And I just want them to be fresh for my photo shoot anyway. So that is what I am doing. And I just wanted to check in. Hey, you guys to that basically update y'all so hopefully this don't take too long because i got a meeting with my accountant at five i got to go to I meet with her at five and then i have a lash appointment at six so let's get in here white That's i didn't get the feeling i just got the color change because my photo shoot is tomorrow so yeah let's go meet with my accountant now all right so my baby so before um i start my new vlog i'm gonna come and end this vlog make sure you guys like comment and subscribe i thank you so much for um just interacting with me and being a supporter but huh like comment subscribe so you can be notified whenever i post another video and i will see you babies on another one is that copyright lily hmm but um all right y'all so that was my honest reaction as a blind reaction i didn't see this video um Got a notification that it came up, but like I mentioned in the video, I had my first therapy session, so I had to hit that when that was over. But if you like content like this and you want to see more, more is to come. More is to come. Y'all do me a favor, drop in the comments other channels that you would like to see me react to or hit up my community post so I can go on and get them videos out for y'all. Also, I know everybody not into the Lily and Grams thing and some people are like drifting away from it, which is fine. Just watch the videos that you are interested in. But I do want to broaden my audience and I do want to give y'all other content that y'all would enjoy. Uh, but right now, right now, King Day is out the motherfucking building. Like I'm subscribed.